Hi there, it's Nicole here, and today I'm going to share how to create a Halloween scene card with all die cuts. The only thing that's stamped is the Happy Halloween greeting. These are all um, die cuts from Lawn Fawn, and they are making this really fun, spooky scene. I'm going to start with some watercolor cardstock, and I am going to kind of messily watercolor a background using this nice deep blue color and black. This is how I'm going to build up to a fantastic nighttime sky. And you can see it's super messy to start with and I'm just going to keep blending these together. I did this super quick. And it looks kind of messy but once you keep blending and working those colors together, you can get some super amazing results. I'm going to blend in a little bit more here, more blue. Add a little bit more water. And then I'm going to take a little purple and work this into a couple of areas. This is going to add some interest. Now you can really see a lot of the paintbrush strokes in this. So I'm just spritzing the whole background with water. And what I let it do is I let it dry, um, air dry for a good little while without doing anything. I kind of liked the distressing that this created. It's a little too harsh right here, but I will fix that in just a little bit. After I've let it sit and it's not all the way dry, I can take a little bit of water to it and blend it out a little bit more. In fact, you can see it here. I have die cut a moon using the Lawn Fawn Sun and Moon dies. And I'm using the round moon, not the crescent moon. And I'm adding some of that sparkly silver color and then a little bit of black or blue, just depending on what I'm picking up, to give some texture to that moon. But it's going to give it a nice sparkly finish. Then I did go back over my watercolor background and I kind of, with some water, blended that out a little bit. That's why it's not as harsh as it was. When it's completely dry, I die cut it with an outside in stitched rectangle to give it a little definition. And it's perfectly okay that the color doesn't go all the way to the edge. I purposely wanted it to appear to be a little messy. I've also pre die cut lots of elements here to kind of cut down on the time for the video. I've got some birch trees out of black licorice cardstock. I, that's from the birch trees dies. These work great for so many different projects, um, whether it be holiday themed, winter themed, Halloween themed, fall themed. I just love these dies and I can see that they're going to get a lot of use. Then from the scalloped treat box, I've got the two bats and the black cat, also die cut from black licorice cardstock. And then I'm going to be die cutting some other elements as well. Now, one of the things I did for the scallop treat box when I did that a couple weeks ago is take the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pin to the bats. I love that look so much that I wanted to replicate it for my card here. I'm going to have a couple bats against that awesome moon background. I'm also going to use the cute cobweb. I had a viewer ask if I would use the cute cobweb die cut from vellum and I thought it was such a fantastic idea that I am doing that for this card here. So from the cute cobweb stamp set or die set rather I'm using the cobweb piece and then the hanging spider. I am adding adhesive to the back of my pieces with the Xyron sticker maker for the vellum especially and especially these delicate vellum pieces. It makes it really easy to attach these to my background. I'm going to start building my scene by adding that cute cobweb up in the top right corner of my background. And at this point, I think it's really hard to see how that sky is going to work into the Halloween scene. But once I've laid down my spider web, I'm going to build the background up with some trees and the moon. And you can kind of start to see how it's going to have that awesome 
spooky Halloween vibe to it. This is definitely a little darker, especially for using something cutesy like Lawn Fawn. I tend to gravitate towards a little bit more of the darker themes for Halloween. So I like to try to find ways to use products maybe a little bit differently than they were intended. I'm die cutting the Picket Fence Border, also die cut from black cardstock. I'm gonna trim that down so it fits my background. And then I want it to be popped up just a little bit. And that's gonna take a little bit of effort I probably could have adhered this to some fun foam using Stick It, the black cardstock, and then die cut the whole thing with the picket fence die. Since I didn't, I'm going to use some foam squares. Now the great thing about these particular foam squares, especially for a spooky scene that has black, a lot of black in it, these foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives are all black. So you're not gonna see any white foam at all. So even though it took a little bit of effort and I had to trim them into thirds, the, the larger squares into thirds, I think it's worth it for this because even from the side angle, you aren't gonna see any white foam. Now, to go with this, I want the cat to be walking along the top of the picket fence. So I'm adding some foam adhesive to the back of the cat and I'll use some black pearl gems for the eyes on the cat which I'll add here in a little bit. I also want to die cut a couple of spiders from the cute cobweb set. The greeting is stamped from the Lawn Fawn How You Bean candy corn add-on stamped right there kind of in the middle of the scene. The two hanging spiders, I'm going to add faces to both of them also from this How You Bean candy corn add-on. There's four little faces in this and since there's lots of different stamp sets from Lawn Fawn that have faces so you could choose anything you want. Because I had this out to use the greeting, I went ahead and used faces from this and I'm stamping faces on my spiders using Versamark ink. I will heat emboss those faces with some Lawn Fawn white embossing powder. Heat emboss that. Then run both of these spiders through my Xyron sticker maker. And I want to hang these from the trees to kind of finish off this whole spooky Halloween feeling card. I love that the little faces fit these spiders. I did this for one of my projects for the August Inspiration Week, and I really loved how it looked, so I went ahead and did it for these spiders as well. With, it's a little bottom heavy, even though there's stuff going on in the top part of the card, hanging the spiders from more of the top half of the card design really helps kind of even out everything that's going on here. It balances the design adds to that spooky feel, and is just super fun. I hope this card has inspired you to look at the dies that you have in your collection and maybe consider trying to create a card all out of die cuts. There are so many amazing ones out there now that it's super fun to try to find ways to create some awesome cards all out of dies. I did add a little Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen to my spiders to help them stand out against the trees to make them a little bit sparkly. And that is gonna finish up my card. I will add this to a top fold card base. And this spooky Halloween card featuring dies from Lawn Fawn is all finished. Thanks for joining me today for this Halloween card featuring dies from Lawn Fawn. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.